diseases of grapes now we will see the list of important diseases in grapes my name is n h shankar reddy and i am doing phd plant pathology in anamal university so these are all the list of important diseases in grapes so first one is grapes downy mildew which is caused by plasma para viticola powdery mildew is previously called as ancillina negator now it is called as erysiphae negator anthraconose or bud eye spot which is caused by elicinella amphelina or gliosporium amphelophagum psa disease xylella fastidiosa brown spot cercospora viticola gray mold botrytis cinerea and blue mold penicillium digitatum and black rot which is caused by gugnardia badveli or philosticta ampelicida and bacterial canker which is caused by xanthomonas campestris pathova viticola so now we'll see in detail about one by one so the first one is downy mildew which is caused by plasma para viticola <coughs> so if you see the symptoms the major the most important symptom is mummification of fruits is the characteristic symptom of uh, downy mildew we can see here mummification of fruits fruits are mummified into small uh, you know fruits are mummified so mummification of fruits is the characteristic symptoms we can see here mummification of fruits along with irregular or white color transcellent spots or downy growth can be seen on the upper surface of leaves white color downy growth or irregular shaped or transcellent shaped spots can be seen on the upper surface so small little amount of powdery growth also can be seen on uh, uh, fungi little powdery uh, surface i mean the growth also can be seen on uh, sometimes leaf and sometimes in fruits also we can see white color powdery growth also can be seen it doesn't mean powdery mildew if the fruits are mummified it is a downy mildew which is caused by plasma para viticola it has a great historical importance where milladet accidentally discovered bodo mixer for the control of grapes downy mildew so coming to the management aspect sanitation is very important in the management thing, along with the vineyards are planted with proper spacing and spraying bodo mixer bodo mixer very very important spraying bodo mixer or the combination of metal oxide or mancozy but the rate of 0.3 to 0.4 percent or copper oxychloride 0.25 percent can control the disease so coming to the second disease powdery mildew which is caused by ancinella negator the name itself indicates white color powdery growth can be seen on the upper surface of leaves sometimes we can see on the both surfaces but mainly we can see in the upper surface and the second important symptom is cracking of fruits can be seen here we can see here cracking of fruits fruits are cracked in powdery mildew along with the formation of white color powdery growth in not only in leaves but also in uh, infected fruits or berries you can see here cracking symptoms so white color powdery growth along with the cracking of berries is the most important and very very important symptom of powdery mildew which is caused by ancinella negator or uh, the new name is erysiphae negator so coming to the management aspect spraying wettable sulfur uh, 0.2% and uh, carbon is 1% or carathen 0.07% is especially recommended for uh, uh, powdery mildews carathen 0.07% uh, uh, that can control the disease and other, some of the resistant varieties also available against this disease red sultan saint george can also be grown against uh, this disease so coming to the bud eye spot bud eye spot or anthraconose anthraconose otherwise called as bud eye spots a very important disease in grapes so which is caused by gliosporium amphelophagum Na the name itself indicates bud eye spot so the spots are look like to bud eye that's why it's named as bud eye we can see here brown color discoloration on fruits along with a yellow halo we can see here brown color discoloration of fruits along with a yellow halo can be seen everywhere and also short hole symptom very 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 important we can see here short hole symptom we can see here short hole symptom so brown color discoloration along with the yellow halo and also the most important symptom is a short hole symptom we can see here it's a very very important this can be asked definitely in exam many times i had seen and along with mummification of fruits also can be seen so if uh, short hole symptom along with the mummification is present it is a bud eye spot if the only mummification of fruits are present it's a grapes downy mildew so we can see short hole symptom along with the brown color discoloration and yellow halo it is a characteristic of bud eye spot it's look like to bud eye that's why it's named as a bud eye spot so coming to black rot which is caused by gugnardia badveli the name itself indicate rotting of berries black color rotting of berries we can see here so the size of the fruits also can be reduced uh, a little bit mummification also can be seen and along with uh, you know berries are converted into hard black mummified berries 
or black color masses or black shrinking of fruits can be seen along with a little mummification also can be observed in block rod. So coming to the management aspects, collecting and destruction of fallen berries and leaves and along with the spraying of bodo mixture can be very efficient and effective in managing this disease. So coming to next disease, Pacosporavitis which is responsible for rust in grapes. So rust uh, disease is caused by Pacosporavitis and the symptoms can be seen on in lower surface of leaves. So orange yellow color sori or orange yellow color pustules can be seen on the lower surface of leaves. Later, the entire leaf surface is defoliated and covered with this, uh, you know, sore or brown color uh, complete iridospore pustules. So, the pathogen can able to produce both iridospores as well as teleospores. The main symptom is formation of yellow color rust pustules or brown color or orange color rust pustules on the lower surface of leaves. So, this disease is very severe, especially in the winter period. Thus, we can say the grapes are, uh, are rust. So coming to the management aspects, spraying of sulphur dust at the rate of 25 kg per hectare and spraying of wettable sulphur 0.2% can effectively check this rust disease. So coming to next bacterial disease, PRC disease of grape wine which is caused by xylella fastidiosa. It's a very very important disease. If we see the clearly, so scorching symptoms can be seen. You can see here scorching symptoms. Scorching symptoms can be seen. It's a very 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 important one along with marginal scorching along with that is bordered with red or yellow halo we can see here scorching of leaf along with red or yellow halo is the most important symptom along with this entire leaf is converted into or turned into brown or drooping of petioles or leaves can be seen and in later cases shriveling and you know uh, mummification of fruits can't be observed in uh, PS disease I mean xylella fastidiosa but the scorching of leaves and you know a red color or yellow color halo borders can be clearly observed so later the entire leaf is turned into brown color and the leaves also drooping or dropping of leaves also can be clearly seen in later stages of uh, uh, a disease so coming to the vector it's a very very important PRC disease of grape wine which is a bacterial species that can be transmitted, I mean bacterial pathogen which can be transmitted by the insect vector glassy winged sharp shooter. The name is Homolodisca vitripinis. Previously it is called as Homolodisca coagulata. Now it is called as Homolodisca vitripinis. It is the Homolodisca vitripinis insect species. So grapes disease of, uh, sorry, Pierce disease of grape one is transmitted by glassy winged sharp shooter. Coming to the management aspects, there is no cure to the pre this disease that is pierced disease of grape wine so prevention is better than cure as i said better to remove all the infected wines and uh, uh, you know for uh, for controlling of vector we may spray some insecticides but i don't think that will give uh, effective management and control especially in the case of grapes so especially this uh, glass sharp sharpshooter californian uh, uh, more, this problem will be very severe in california and as well as you know uh, most of the uh, wine growing areas and so maybe in france or some other uh, uh, highly vineyard growing areas so coming to the bacterial canker which is caused by xanthomonas campestris pathovar viticola <clears throat> so uh, coming to the symptoms we can see water soaked uh, lesions can be seen on leaves water soaked lesions can be irregular lesions can be seen on leaves and later stages the it, it will stall it, it will slowly necrot i mean necrotic symptoms can be uh, seen and it will slowly dies so severely infected leaves are defoliated and the symptoms can also observed on the uh, branches side branches and it twigs also we can see the branches i mean side branches also we can see the same symptoms are illegal water soaked lesions on the branches also so this disease produced black brown spots we can see here black brown spots can be uh, seen here advanced stages griddling will happen and defoliation also can be uh, seen in this is the bacterial culture that can be uh, i mean janthomonas bacterial culture uh, that is uh, harvested from the bacterial canker so coming to the management aspects uh, regular uh, inspection of vineyards and if there is any uh, infected materials can be found destruction of the infected plant materials will be the better option along with uh, uh, cutting of uh, you know vineyards during especially during october and pruning can be uh, definitely uh, uh, another uh, great management practice and spraying of streptocycline uh, you know, uh, at especially at a two leaf stage and 70 days uh, uh, after, you know, uh, 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 planting in, uh, then definitely will be very effective. So coming to the questions related to ARS or NET or board exams or different types of semester exams, we can expect many questions, especially from the grapes. So grapes downy mildew is caused by plasma pora viticole. It's a great historical important pathogen where uh, Millard developed 
बोडो मिचर टू आई मीन टू कंट्रोल डाउन यू मिलडियो सो लेट मी टेल यू द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन आई मीन क्वेश्चन दे विल आस्क लाइक दिस डाउन यू मिलडियो ऑफ ग्रेप्स इज कास्ट बै प्लास्मा परा विटिकोला हू डेवलप्ड बोडो मिचर फॉर द कंट्रोल ऑफ ग्रेप्स डाउन यू मिलडियो बोडो मिचर अंड कांपोजिशन आफ बोडो मिचर वन इज टू वन इज टू हंड्रेड रेशो कापर सलफेट लाइम अंड हंड्रेड लीटर्स आफ वाटर and uh, you know uh, what will be the i mean uh, in bodo mixture what is the name what is the name bodo indicates so bodo is the university name where millard at worked so this bodo university was established i think maybe in in, four, in 15th century i think 1440 something like that uh, this university was established and uh, i had seen in msc entrance exam in 2016 and 17 when i went to madhya pradesh i think so this question was asked like uh, uh, in bodo in bodo mixture what is the name uh, bodo indicate so bodo indicate university name where millard at worked so composition of bodo mixture i already told you that so this bodo mixture is strongly considered a serendipity discovery which means accidental discovery so where millard had discovered accidentally so this is about grapes down you will be coming to grapes powdery mildew definitely there will be uh, what will be the casal organisms of grapes powdery mildew ancinella nicator or uh, the new name is ericifer nicator and uh, was specific, specific fungicide recommended for uh, you know grapes powdery mildew that is carathen group of fungicide that i already told you that is a tridomorph that can be specially recommended for this uh, grapes powdery mildew and uh, and the symptoms also can be asked down you will the special symptom of down you will do so mummification is the important symptom in uh, identification of down you will do whereas in powdery mildew cracking symptoms can be observed along with if you see the anthrocnose so grapes anthrocnose otherwise called as bud eye spot very very important they will definitely i had seen it in many places and definitely they will ask grapes anthrocnose have a sp- separate space and place in uh, plant i mean uh, in the disease of crops and uh, disease of special horticulture crops if you see this anthrocnose is otherwise called as bud eye spot it look like very clear that short hole symptoms are produced they will ask uh, like this formation of short hole short hole symptom is the characteristic feature of they will give options a down you will do powdery mildew anthrocnose like that they will give so the formation of short hole symptoms along you know short hole uh, that's more than enough formation of short hole symptom is the characteristic feature of Uh, grapes anthrocnose grapes anthrocnose otherwise called as bud eye spot in the next disease is pierce disease of grape vine which is very very important which is a bacterial disease caused by xylella fastidiosa so this disease is transmitted by the vector species glassy winged sharp shooter glassy winged sharp shooter is the insect which is responsible in transmission of uh, uh, pierce disease of grape vine that is xylella fastidiosa i mean uh, zella fastidios involved in transmission of zella fastidios and uh, coming to the vector uh, na- uh, if you to see, if you see the vector name uh, homolodisca coagulata is the old name and the new name is uh, homolodisca vitripennis the sharp sort of glassy winged sharp sort of scientific name and uh, one more uh, important thing zella fastidio is the zella uh, fastidiosa is the i mean uh, pierce disease of grape vine uh, which is caused by zella fastidiosa which is the first plant pathogenic bacteria make sure i am not telling pa- uh, bacteria first plant pathogenic that can only infect plants first plant pathogenic bacteria whose genome is completely sequenced zella fastidiosa is the first plant pathogenic bacteria whose genome is completely sequenced in the year of 2000 so in the year of 2000 along with the help of brazilian consortium a scientist called uh, uh, you know uh, simpson a j g simpson which is uh, is the scientist which is involved in the genome sequencing of the bacterial pathogen jelly zellella fastidiosa so i think these are the probable questions from uh, uh, you know uh, grapes